This sign has more swag than your sign. Hey guys, CB Tech here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make colored signs. In the previous tutorial I showed you guys how to make clickable signs and I said that I would do this for the next one. So um, in the description I will leave the link for that video below on how to make clickable signs. So you can watch that. Um, and so now we will move on to colored signs. So this command is pretty complicated for this. So we're going to start with the basics. Um, so this says hello with one line of text and it is red. So what you do is you place a sign above a command block and then put this command in it. Block data, which will update the, uh, the sign above the command block when you press this button to the text that you have input it here. So this is obviously one block above with the coordinates here. So within that you have two curly brackets and then text one with a capital T and then colon and then inside quotes these two here you have another set of curly brackets with text colon and then a backward slash I think it's backwards backward slash um, and then you have quotes here with hello and then your um, Another slash. So right here is where the text is for the first line um, on your sign. So if I change this to just hi, hit done, and then press the button again, it just says hi. So let's change that back so you guys can see that. So right here after um, after the text, it just says um, after a comma right here, it says color colon red. So first let me update that again. So it's red. So if I want to change it to, let's just say yellow, yellow, done, press it, it's yellow. So that's pretty basic. So over here is just a sign with bold text without any color. So it's the same thing, except over here after the text it says comma bold with a slash, and then in quotes with another slash it says true. Um, so that's all that is. So if I add that to this over here, comma bold colon slash uh, true can't type with another colon can't type come on where is it at there it is that's a semicolon <laughs> and then there's slash um, nope I'm already messing it up it's a slash with a quote here and then quotes here I can't see my keyboard um, I think that is it. Yeah, there it is. Done. Press the button. Now it's bold. So yeah, there's a lot more uh, text effects you can do. So here, let's add another line of text. So to do that, um, after text one, over here on the end, outside of these curly brackets, which is part of this text right here. So outside of that, we do another comma, and then type in text um, two, and a colon. And then quotes and then we need curly bracket text and then you put another colon with a slash and then do the quotes um, just put CB tech this is the text for the line CB tech and then another quote I think I typed it yep and actually inside that quote I need the, the slash and then I need a little bracket. Done. Press it. I messed it up already. I knew I'd do that. It's hard to look at these commands. That's why it's better to view it on a text editor or something. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, it was one little quote mark right after the end here, which wasn't spacing it properly to get to the next one. So yeah, I was typing it right at this part here. But I had one quote here that was wrong, which that quote is related to the one at the beginning of the curly bracket. So and I found it out by looking at a text editor and comparing with other commands. It was just that's why using it like Notepad or something is just much easier to look at your command before putting it in your command block. So now that we have text two with um, CB Tech as the the text on the second line, we can within this curly bracket almost pointed at my screen, use my mouse. <laughs> um, within these two curly brackets, we put another comma after the quote here. So comma, and then 
color. Can't type color. And let's go with blue. 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 Come on. Blue. There we go. Uh, and I think that's it. We need to just hit done. Press it. There it is. It's blue. So now if you want to do some other, other text effects, it's a little more complicated. Colors are the simplest. Um, if we want to do italics, underlining, bold, um, and I already said that about the bold stuff. So let's make this one. Uh, let's make it italics. So after this, we do comma, um, italics, no, italics. Um, and then we do colon, colon, slash, quotes, true. I cannot type today. Not working out. Slash another quote thingy. And I think that's it. So italics colon slash true with the quotes and then the slashes inside of that quote. Hit it. I I know. I always get this wrong. I'm being stupid again. It's not italics. It's just italic. That would have helped. <laughs> so you can do all kinds of effects. So with this one here, the crazy whatever, just random letters, it's called uh, obfuscated, ob, 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 obfuscated? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so it's the same thing, except instead of typing italic, you type that in. Since I don't know how to spell it without looking at it, again, I'm just going to copy it. So let's copy this. Control C, done. Paste it over here. Let's replace this. Control V. There we go. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Um, so it's the same thing. You just have a different name for that. Hit done. Update it. And now it just does all kinds of random stuff. So it'll do as many characters as your line is. So what I did for over here to fill the whole thing, I have it... The text is just like a bunch of random stuff. So I could just spam, done, make it longer. So that's all I have to do. Um, I think it might depend on what you type in. Because look right here, there's like a, it's mixing between some colons there and here and here. And I put three of them in. So I think it does sort of depend on what you put in. Not sure how it works. Um, you could look into that, Google it. Um, but yeah, you can mix effects together. So let's add one more to this one. Let's do a comma. Uh, let's make it underlined. Underlined. I'll have to double check if that's... Um, if I just do underline or underlined. So true. I keep forgetting those quotes. you got to get the commands exactly right or they will not work. So yes, if you have any questions below, please let me know and I will try to answer them. I will put some of these commands in the description. Um, let me just check. Yes, I will put some of them in the description so you guys can um, try them out for yourselves. I found the mistake again. See this little curly bracket? I put it on the outside. I've got to move that curly bracket over to here. Let's try it. Here we go. Nope. Try again. There we go. Um, yet again, I missed one character. So yes, make sure you pay attention if you're missing characters. Um, I'll try to make like a default command, like with one line of text. And I'll say like insert effect here or color um, to do different things. Um, so yeah, if you want to... Um, see more tutorials like this in the future um, please subscribe to be notified about them um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video